Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a follow-up video about the ESP32 S2, primarily to answer a bunch of questions that I got both in my comments and just in general on the internet, and also just to clarify some of the misconceptions of where the ESP32 S2 is supposed to be sitting in the product lineup. There's a lot of confusion out there. It seems that a lot of people are thinking that the S2 is supposed to be replacing the ESP32 dual core as the next flagship version of the ESP32. But in fact, that's not true. It's actually designed to be a lower cost cut down version that sits within the product range, not at the top of the product range. There also seems to be some confusion about the ESP32 having a single core. This is not new for Espressive. They already have a single core ESP32. The ESP32 S0WD has been around for quite a while. And sure, it's got the same functionality as the dual core variant, the ESP32 D0WD, with Bluetooth and all the other functionality like CAN bus, but it's only single core and it's actually a slower 160 megahertz instead of the full 240 megahertz. So this new ESP32 S2 is actually an advancement in some ways over the current single core variety that's available. And I personally believe it lays the groundwork for what future improvements are gonna be doing inside the dual core version when a new chip arrives in the future. So let's get onto the questions because there were quite a few of them. The number of ADCs, analog digital converters, is two. The number of DACs, the digital to analog converters, is still two, I believe. There are 10 channels per ADC. There is no Hall effect sensor, but there is an internal temperature sensor. There is still RMT support. There can be HID support on the USB, but right now there is no HID support planned for launch. It'll be something that if there is support for it, it'll come later, and it'll require some low-level drivers and libraries on Espressive's behalf. Just confirming there is no CAN bus. There is two hardware SPIs, just like in the current ESP32 dual core. SPI speeds are still around 40 megahertz, although potentially it could go faster. That's not been decided yet by Espressive. There are three UARTs in the new ESP32 S2, and you still have full control over all of the GPIO through the GPIO matrix. One of the features that's been listed on the Espressive announcement is the separate instruction and data cache, which is actually something that's quite important for any ESP32 going forward that uses external PS RAM. And there are quite a few of them right now, especially with all the cameras coming out. So with the current ESP32, the dual core and the existing single core, they both share the same cache for both instructions and for data. That means when it's caching the instruction data that's inside the flash and suddenly you hit a whole bunch of memory on the PS RAM, it needs to clear the cache out of the instructional data from the flash so it can use the cache for the PS RAM. And then when you finish with that, it has to reload in the instructional data from the flash, which obviously takes a lot of time. It's quite a big hit there. So with the ESP32 S2, there's a separate cache for both the instruction data and for the memory, which means there's no swapping in and out. It's much faster and they don't stomp on each other. Right now, there's no extra information on the ultra low power coprocessor in how it's been enhanced over the current ESP32, but it has been enhanced and there are some pretty cool things coming, so I've been told. I'm still trying to get some clarification over what exact improvements the LX7 architecture will have over the existing LX6. I can't find anything specific right now, and although Espressive are hinting at some incremental improvements, I'm not quite sure what they are right now. Okay, that's it. Um, it was just a, a quick update. I just wanted to answer a bunch of questions. As I get more information, I will let you all know about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my patrons. And I will catch you all later. Bye.